Hello and welcome to this video on how to run Dayton SDK in Docker. In this video, I will start with an introduction to Docker which briefly explains what Docker is. Next, I will show how to install Docker on CentOS 7. Then, I will build the Dayton SDK Docker image from the Docker file available on GitHub. Finally, I will demonstrate how to run Docker containers from the Electron SDK Docker image. Let's start with the introduction to Docker. Docker is an open containerization platform for developing, testing, deploying, and running any software applications. In Docker, the applications are presented as lightweight, portable, and self-sustaining Docker containers. Multiple Docker containers can run on the same machine and share the operating system resources with other containers. Each container runs as an isolated process in user space. Docker containers are started or run from a Docker image, which is a template used by Docker to launch a running container. A Docker image can be pulled from the Docker public repository or built from a Docker file. Docker file is a text-based script that contains special commands in a sequence for building the new images from the existing base images. The commands include selecting the base image from the Docker repository, adding metadata, installing all the required applications, compiling the applications, and setting up environment variables. In the subsequent sections, I will create the Editon SDK Docker image from the Docker file and use that Docker image to run multiple Docker containers. Before using Docker, we need to install Docker Engine on the host machine. The Docker Engine is a lightweight and powerful client server application used to build, manage, and containerize the applications. It is built on top of the Linux kernel with extensively leveraging its features. Docker Engine runs as a service on the machine and provides Docker commands to control and manage the Docker Engine, Docker Images, and Docker Containers. It is available on many platforms including Windows, Mac OS, CentOS, Debian, Oracle Linux, Red Hat, and Ubuntu. It can be installed by using the corresponding packaging tools of the Linux distribution, such as using the apt-get command for Debian and Ubuntu, and the yum command for Red Hat, Fedora, and CentOS. Next, I will show you how to install Docker Community Edition on CentOS 7. Docker Community Edition is decided for developers and small teams looking to get started with Docker and experimenting with container-based applications. To install Docker, I will follow steps mentioned in the Docker documentation at this URL. The Docker host a machine is CentOS 7.5. First, I use the yum command to install required packages for Docker. Next, I add the Docker repository into the YAM configurations. Then I install the latest versions of Docker Community Edition and Container Demo. Finally, I run the system control command to start Docker service. At this point, the Docker is ready to be used on the host machine. To verify the status of Docker service, you can use the service command. The output indicates that the Docker service is active and running. You can also use the Docker info command to display the information about the Docker engine. Now, Docker has been installed properly on the machine. Next. I will build an Electron SDK Docker image. The Electron SDK Docker image can be created from the Docker file available on GitHub. 
The script in the Docker file used the Oracle Linux 7 as a base image. Then use the yum command to install the required packages to build the Electron SDK. Next is clone the Electron SDK from GitHub and download CMake. Then it runs CMake to build the Electron SDK. In this section, I will demonstrate how to build the Electron SDK Docker image from the Docker file on GitHub. The Docker file is on GitHub, so I use the yum command to install Git package. However, there is a no issue when using this Docker Community Edition with Git version 1.8.3. The workaround is swapping to git version 2.8 instead. I run the yum command to install the IUS release package. Then I use the yum command to swap the version of git. Now, the host machine is ready to build the Docker image from GitHub. I used the docker build command to build a Docker image from the Docker file available on GitHub. The T option is used to tag Electron SDK as the name of this Docker image. It may take around 30 minutes to build the Electron SDK Docker image. After the build was successful, the docker image command can be used to list all available images on the host machine and the output will show the Electron SDK docker image. Next, I will run docker containers from the Electron SDK docker image. In this demo, the provider and the consumer containers will be run on the same docker host machine. The consumer container will connect to the provider container through the docker network and link option. This use case scenario is useful to test the consumer application subscribing to simulated data published by the provider application and those application containers are running on the same docker host machine. First, I run the provider container with the docker run command. I specify the name of this container to provider via the name option and use the T option to allocate the teletype for this container so the output can be seen on the console. The docker image used to run this container is Electron SDK. It runs the provider example in the Electron SDK package. The provider example is listening on TCP 14002 port and provides data for the leg feed service. Then, I run the consumer container with the docker run command on the same docker host machine. I specify the name of this container to consumer via the name option and use the T option to allocate the teletype for this container so the output can be seen on the console. I use the link option to create a link to the provider container and use port one as an alias name. The docker image used to run this container is Electron SDK. It runs the consumer example in the Electron SDK package. The consumer example used the prop one alias name to connect to the provider container on TCP 14002 port. It subscribes to an item name test from the direct feed service. The output shows that the consumer container can consume data from the provider container. You can use the docker ps command with an A option to list all containers on the host machine. The output indicates that the status of both containers are up. To stop containers, you can use the docker stop command with the name of the container. After stopping, the status of those containers are changed to exit. You can restart those containers with the docker start command or remove those containers with the docker rm command. 
after removing the output from the docker ps command indicates that those containers are removed. Now you should be able to install docker, build the electron SDK docker image and run docker containers from that docker image. For more use case scenarios or information, please refer to these resources. Thank you for watching.